said to me, oh, um, we'll talk when I see you. And I'm like, first of all, where I'm from, that's fighting words. Like, bro, it's not every day you get a Drake feature. A lot of people would suck for it. Pause. Literally. <laughs> no, <did he>? <laughs> These people can't even play Connect Four. <laughs> the f you playing with a chess master here. I'm Russian. Bro, like, I I was raised by a man. You think you're really going to outsmart me? We love hip hop. We got, I'm going to just, you know, do a rough, quick intro, okay? We got damn homie just flew in hit the yyz okay and we have the return of moolah first in the building listen man i'm really really happy to get this one started off here um before we get into it i want to give a quick salute to the sponsors big salute to diamond club hit them up if you need that loud 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 um hit them up on their instagram page diamond club underscore canada or you can find them on the seven days of weed website use the code we love hip-hop and get yourself a little discount also, if you need that blem, hit up steaming hot grabber. Get yourself a bag of that grabber. Get to grab a shaker, whatever you need. Hit them up on their Instagram page, steaming hot grabber, and use the code We Love Hip Hop. You heard me? But yeah, man. I, listen, because we've already done interviews, episodes, and stuff like that, I just want to catch up on the different things that are going on now. Okay, you damn homie, you've been running around airport to airport and stuff like that quick thing what's the difference between the way that you move around in la and the way that you move around in miami um i think i move around the same anywhere i just just i i move around alone a lot mm. i think alone you get you you could just do a lot of when i'm traveling with people or an entourage i get way less done to be honest yeah 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 so, so are you seeing like do you have to check in when you go to la I don't check in nowhere. I mean, to me, checking in is like, let's say I can't. I come to Toronto. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit up Moolah. Yo, you know, I'm here. What we do? And I hit up Chromas. Mm -hmm, I hit mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. up. You know, I have my peoples that I just hit up. But I, in no way am I asking for permission to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Even in Toronto, okay? Because every time, like, you come through, you're in Toronto. You know, Moolah first comes through, like, is it's is, is Mula Mula? Are you the check-in point over here in Toronto for for damn home? Do I have your permission to be here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. my permission. I mean, I'm not. I've never heard of anyone saying otherwise when I came to their city. No one's ever said this bitch can't come here. I, I mean, think it's different for women because with guys, we can't just move around anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like when you go to certain cities for guys, especially when it comes to like. I don't, I hate using this term, the urban scene and stuff like that. Like we might have to, you know, s not check in, but let certain people know that we're around. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You, you get what no, I mean. No, when I go to the hood, I mean, people know I'm coming. Yeah. But when, like in LA, when we'd be going to the hoods, like, like, um, last time we, we was, uh, we was doing interviews, like in people's literally hoods. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And. I think for women, it's a lot easier because I could go anywhere. And then ever, if people see me, their first instinct is not to like shoot me like, oh, who the f is this? Yeah. You know, their instincts like, oh, here's a white. I don't know. She's probably fucking someone or she knows somebody here. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. The more I do like the jail, sh I guess, the more I just st for women, it's different. Very and I, different. I definitely want to get into that as well. You know what I'm saying? You know, let's let's even do just a temper to check on everybody. How's how's everybody's month been like? How, how you been, Wula? I've been great, you know? Yeah. 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 My job, doing what I'm supposed to be doing every day, whether I'm happy or mad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you feel about the reception from the interview that we did the other day? I mean, everything is good. Everything is shut down now. You don't hear anything about it anymore. When the first just came to save the day, right? Mm. So that's just how it is He's, in our city right now. You still have some of them... You know what? Let me get damn homie in on this conversation because a big part of your interview that um, like a big viral part of it, right, was the whole press of the leading tracks. Tio, tell me, tell me, you know what? You know what's a statement? Pressa, delete your fucking diss tracks. If he came with that and said, hey, yo, and if you delete attachments. OK, and this was sparked off of I don't know if you were catching up on what was going on up here, Drake had sent a message saying if Doovie and Presta get on a song together, yeah. he would do a collab. I seen that because I follow all the Toronto pages. Mm -hmm. My opinion on that is he should have just, they should have did it. You think they should have done it? They, I think, I mean, I don't know. Drake offers you like a lifeline. You take it. 
I don't think you, I think he played himself, to be honest. Well, Mula had his commentaries and he also said, if Pressa deletes his diss tracks, that would be a bigger statement than that. What do you think about I think I would delete. A, I would delete my diss tracks to get a Drake feature. Like, bro, it's not every day you get a Drake feature. A lot of people would suck for it. Pause. Literally, <laughs> no, <did he? laughs> yeah. I think if you get that type of opportunity, take it. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, could have yeah, done yeah. a lot of good for the city. But I think once, like, once you have beef with someone, I could never fully trust you. To be honest, how are we really supposed to do a song together on some real? Sh mm. We have to perform together. You're my enemy. Like. They don't, don't necessarily know. have to perform together. They would, you have to do a music a video. Okay, you don't even have to shoot the music video. Just do a song. Just a but song. you make your money through performances. So you're going to both be, be performing the song separately. It's not going to hit as hard. Yeah, Either yeah. I think in order to be successful, you have to put all that shit to the side. You know how many people I really dislike in the industry? And I have to put my shit to the side. Because if I go after them, mm. it's going to f*** my shit up. So like, even like when it comes to the different industries that you're in, right? Yeah. Like, even with the OF stuff, does it get catty? Because like I see Very videos catty. with you, like, collaborating, not, like, in the OF, but, like, on mm -hmm. Twitter, like, you might be advertising with the next girl, and they're like, hey, check out our new video coming soon. Is it always peace, or is y'all, do you hate some of them bitches? I hate most of them bitches. I, I really have very few problems dealing with men. I work with mostly men, and mm -hmm. it's fine. With women, I have much bigger issues. Women are, especially in OF. Okay, so then, first you have your girls that... the. The bitches that used to do back in the days, mm -hmm. and now you know they hate on the OnlyFan girls because it came so easy to us. Bitch, that's your fault for being born that years ago. Yeah. Should have not been born a hundred years ago. Should have been born today. That's not the point. Then you have the bitches that fuck on camera. Mm -hmm. They don't like the bitches who don't fuck on camera, so that's a thing. The people I beef with are the bitches that do um. Fall so a bitch my age, what they'll do is basically they'll put pigtails, dress like a 12 year old girl, do freckles on their face, put what? blush. That's why I don't let any makeup artist put blush on me, like to make it my face look pink mm. and like young because they purposely like make themselves look younger. They dress like 12 year olds and then they act like ah. Uh, like young. That's because that's what makes the most money. Literally, if you go around saying you're a virgin, that makes money like acting young and to me, that's disgusting. I feel like God's going to punish you for doing shit like that. That's wild. That's yeah. wild. You, you know, there's a few things I want to ask you guys about even when it comes to like trending and recent topics, right? Because I'm going to be putting this episode out, episode out like immediately, right? The biggest thing that's been going down right now is the Diddy case. Big salute to the sponsors, Diamond Club, with delivery all over the GTA and now all across Canada. They got the best selection of flour, edibles, and pens, and all types of goodies that you need. You can find them on their Instagram page, Diamond Club underscore Canada, or you can find them on the 7 Days of Weed app as well as the Leafy Things app. Let them know that you heard about them through the We Love Hip Hop Network, and they may give you a discount. Big salute to Diamond Club. Cheer! Okay, everybody's been keeping up with everything that's been going on. It's, I think it's kind of hard to like avoid. We don't have it, a right? choice. Shit's in our faces every day, every two minutes. Yeah. My question is, since when does Homeland Security just put out videos like that? Why would they put out the video of the raid of the aftermath? Well, I think that they're they're trying to find him. Right? No. They haven't found him at this point. They're they trying to make a spectacle. Like, why are they really? You know, like, you don't think he's taking the fall for some people that are at the top? I think that there's been a lot of things that have been going on behind the scenes that are coming to the light now. And I think he pissed the, the wrong person off. But for to have Homeland Security at your crib. Something's got to be up. Then why they're not at Jay-Z's house? If that's the case, Jay-Z is doing the same exact shit, if not worse. Whoa. So why are they not at Jay-Z's house? Because you got Beyonce to protect them. Stop it. Okay, all Beyonce so, has wait, to do is leave. What, what's all this talk about Jay-Z? Why is everybody bringing Jay-Z up in the mix in this whole thing? Jay-Z is Jay -Z's doing what P. Diddy do. All these music industry, not all, listen, mm -hmm. most of them, they do that. It's just they've been getting away with it. I think they only don't get away with it. They piss one wrong person off. And then all their shit just comes down. Mm. So. What about predictions? Anybody has any predictions like whether they're going to be arresting him in the next, like, say, week? Because they didn't arrest him. Well, we don't want him arrested. We want to be outside. We don't want anyone arrested. We, want, we don't want to wish jail on anybody. 
I, we don't want to wish jail on anybody, but let's some of the stuff that they're accusing this guy is kind of wild. But where's the proof? Homie of stuff, mm. they accuse me they of stuff. Me. They accuse you <laughs> of stuff. True. And you just put it. It's just not stuff like that, though. <laughs> I mean, like, it's just that we don't give a f. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. don't give a flying f. And there's, not, there's no even point of cancel. Yeah, imagine they just accuse me of something. There's no proof. Um, and it's like nowadays, it's like they arrest you first and then you have to prove your innocence. There's no such thing as, uh, what is it, innocent till proven guilty. Proven it's guilty. literally guilty till proven innocent. And do you notice how quick everybody just threw Diddy under the bus? Did the whole no diddy, but we don't yeah. even know if that's true or not. And yeah. even if like I don't I don't know, I don't think he was doing anything that bad. What was he really doing? Well, the way that they're saying right now, and this is just from like mainstream news that I'm seeing, right? They're like that this is in this stems from a sex trafficking ring. They just keep on saying that. And I'm talking about CP24 Canadian news all the way up here. Like these are houses in Miami and LA. And all the way up here, they're saying sex trafficking. So that's the word that's traveling around. But they haven't charged anybody with anything, technically. Mm. You don't notice when a black man becomes too powerful, this just happens out of nowhere? And, and, and it's like, yeah, like 20 years old. Oh, yeah, I just did this I'm in 1989. Yeah. When it becomes too powerful, it's like they have to take you down. Yes, that happens. And I don't want to sound like an Uncle Tom or anything, okay? <laughs> but how much does that really happen, though? I mean, when I, when I get the notification, I'm going to be the one that's successful in doing it. But the thing is, I don't think people are going to be actively trying to take you down. I think that that sounds good, but I mean, it only I'm happens good, like I'm four or five times in it. I'm taken down. I mean, I, I want to be the one taken down. I mean, this is what we do this for. Why have a voice and not use it yeah. to the highest degree? Well, because there's, you know, like what you're saying, damn homie, with the, you know, black man gets to a certain point. How many? We had Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, and now Diddy. It's not like every two week, two years they're trying to take down another black man. Tyler Perry's doing great. Friggin' the dude, um, there's, there's enough guys who are super millionaires who are successful they're doing great. Nobody's trying to take them down. That's necessarily not true because it's like DMX and people like that, like that has not. Kanye. Look at what they did to Kanye. Kanye. Yeah. Yeah. Because he said, because he spoke the truth. Well, again, don't want to sound like that guy, but these Who's guys are bringing it on themselves. DMX, you know, rest his soul. He was dealing with a lot of drug issues. His personal stuff. Yeah. Just because he's famous and yeah, it goes into the, why is he being locked up for certain shit? He wasn't paying taxes. Who the f really pays taxes? <laughs> like, come on, relax. <laughs> Yo, at the same time, you know what? It's different from over here is different than, than over there in the States. Oh, in the States, you don't pay taxes? You're going to jail. Yeah, like, yeah. You're fucked. And, and for if you get like a bag for. Like we can get like a fifty racks and not have to oh, give back twenty five thousand of, of it. Yeah, we that don't happen to us over sure. here. You know what I'm saying? So you know when something like that, you got to keep in mind. Okay, you're pulling in millions of dollars. Put aside a few hundred thousand because the tax man's gonna come. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with uh with Kanye. Don't start going crazy talking about Jewish people and then expect to keep your money. That's the thing that a lot of people kept on saying, yo. He revealed the truth, and that's why they're taking him down. Fam, if what he's saying is true, you're obviously pissing off the wrong people then. Yeah. Let the man go. Let the man go. Hey, Let fine the with man me. go and exceed <laughs> his thing. Like, I mean, he believes it. I mean, he don't know. Yeah. Like, like, he has a voice. He's using it to the maximum. This certain shit that you don't know. That she doesn't know that I don't know that he knows that is like, yeah, he knows kind of the truth. True. And if we don't know anything, then we can't just be like saying shit. Yeah. I just feel like you can't complain when your money's being taken away when you lit the fire. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if that's how you see it. Like you could, you could complain about the powers that be. But if your money starts drying up, you can't complain about that part because you're I mean, going at the I powers. Mean, I mean, like, 
when take it back when Martin Luther King and them were doing shit, they weren't doing shit for money. True. They didn't get, money wasn't a factor in the fight. You know what I mean? You're True. fighting for something, so I don't think it has anything to do with money. Yeah, people so don't if fight, you're for, fight for something. I rather some people would rather lose all their money. And fight for what they're fighting for because it's a bigger cause. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Nelson Mandela did 20 whatever years to come out and be president. Sometimes you just got to take the fall sometimes. It's just, it, yeah. that's what it is. Yeah. And these people we hear about still to today. That's facts. That's facts. So, you're, you, I guess the consensus around the room, well, two out of three is that maybe they're going too hard on Diddy. Pause. I think no they're diddy? going too hard because we don't, there's no evidence yet. And already we convicted him in our minds. We've mm. been like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. On YouTube, just that this drink and weekend and segment. Oh, we got So they can watch it because they'll be watching us. Uh, okay, I got the post. You know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, speak, speaking of Tory Lanez, free mm. Tory Lanez. And if you haven't heard Alone at Prom yet, his shit is amazing. It's like my top five ever albums. What are your thoughts on everything that's happened with him now? Do you think that he's going to get an appeal at any point? I think he's going to get an appeal for sure. I think he's going to get out. I think the truth is going to be revealed eventually. And everyone's going to feel mad stupid for what they said about him. Because, yo, he's a true artist. And what they did to him was crazy. Mm. So I think he's going to get out. And, yeah, free Tory Lanez. Oh, free Tory. I got to do a little bit better. <laughs> um, Do me a favor. Pass me that um ice cap right over there in the corner. Got that all over there. Wow. Melted as a move. Bro. Thank you, thank you. Mm. Tim Hortons. Salute to Tim Hortons. You know what I'm saying? You got to get your, get your you Tim Hortons. You think I haven't yet? That's the first thing I did yesterday. I went to the dispensary, Tim Hortons, and shoppers. They don't got Tim Hortons over there in, in New York? They have one in uh, Times Square, but I haven't really? been in New York in like a well, couple of months. They have so many, do- which is trash. Like, I'm good. Mm. I'm sweet. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I like Starbucks. I mean, I think I've had that uh, before. Duncan? Duncan. Duncan's trash. A co- every time I I never really went to Duncan like that because growing up you always saw a cop car by a Duncan, so you just know not to go there. Cops, fucking pig central. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways, let me ask you guys quick, fast about um your accounts and stuff like that because you've both experienced losing accounts, right? You lost an account before we spoke about this in the past, right? But last time I spoke to you. You lost your your since then you lost your Instagram account. Yo, I what lost happened? my main uh, oh <laughs> so I got into an argument with a transgender person. <laughs> oh. This okay, so they were trying to shoot um a ba- like a baddies type of show and they wanted me on it. And um this bitch was trying to make me sound sign a contract. Like I sent I read the contract and I sent my father the contract. My father doesn't even speak English and he called me back and's like, Don't sign this. This is bad. Mm. They'll and even baddies, I think what they have them do is they sign their life away. Like they're like their slaves. Like like they could do whatever they want with these bitches and whatever month. So I basically just said, I'm good. And the bitch was like arguing with me saying, well, we don't even need you. Who the fuck are you? Yeah. So bitch. So I went in and then because I'm like, shit, we're arguing. And this bitch said to me, oh, um, we'll talk when I see you. And I'm like, first of all, where I'm from, that's fighting words. So yeah, we're not, yeah. I'm not going to fight a man in a wig. My man's going to come shoot you. The bitch paid someone to take my page down because that's a thing. You could pay people to take your page down. It's a whole business. People mm. will pay to take your page down and then the same people will get paid to reinstate your page. And to reinstate a page, Damn. my account goes for 10000 to reinstate at least. And no one could do it. 12 people. I had 12 people try to do it and no one could do it. So what I started doing is I reached out to every person that I knew even could get an account back. And I said, yo, if anyone hits you up to delete my shit, mm. I need you to come back and tell me I'll pay you twice as much. And then I'll pay you on top of that to delete their shit. And I've ended up finding out, yeah, the person behind it. So the one that I'm looking at now, the account that is is not your old account. This no, is- I got my account back. Oh. Yeah, took uh, but it got deleted in September. I got it back what six months later. So you didn't have to pay. Yeah, it's a fucking pay. You had to pay to get it. Yeah, back. For, and I never had to pay. I've been deleted thirty times before. I've always had a connection, but at this point, it's whoever did it, they put a note on my shit not to like they did a number this time, mm. so I had no choice but to pay. But it's a business. Like my account, 
is is it worth paying ten thousand to get my account back? Uh, honestly, yeah. Like uh, I'd be making ten thousand a yeah. day sometimes. So yeah, it's fucking worth it. Without the account, I'm making a thousand a day. That's kind of trash. That's crazy. Yeah, that account really like I could I'm I was making ten thousand a day on skits sometimes, and people wow. didn't even know I was getting paid for certain skits. And you know, I think with anything, you have to just deal with it. You know, you just you mentioned something with the skits, right? Because I see like Queens Flip, a lot of different people doing skits. How does one get paid from a skit? Many different ways. So monetizing for some people is impossible. Like me, I get deleted so much. It's not possible for me to monetize on Instagram. So I'll get paid from a collab. Let's say you hold, just- Hold on, not, not to interrupt you. Monetize how from Instagram? Meaning like Instagram could pay you directly, but they barely pay anything. At one point they were paying, but barely. So it's like um. stupid. So- um. The way I was getting paid a lot of times is I'll get a skit, let's say even a product placement. Some people, which my favorite is where they put a product in your video and they don't even ask you to tag it, just have it be seen. Like just the Red Bull being seen yeah. is good enough. Uh, those, okay, another way is, let's say a person wants to do, they want to get into doing skits, but no one wants to work with them. So he'll pay me to work with them. And then what happens is I'm one of those people where a lot of times, if some, if you see me working with them, People like DK or let's say Chink will hit me up and be like, yo, he hit me up to work. What was it like working with them? Yeah. And they know that working with me, you're going to get to work with 30 other people now. That's another way. So pay for a collab and you don't want to, you know, uh, and then I have many other ways um, that I can't reveal because mm -hmm. then other people are going to do it. But there's so many ways to make money. A lot of times I just have to light up one and maybe you know, brainstorm with like an industry friend and we yeah, come yeah. up with, I always think of any type of way to make money. Even yesterday, I was thinking of, there's a lot of OnlyFans girls that buy promo, let's say, from um, like Worldstar and Funny Hood vids, like, mm -hmm. or whatever. And it, it'll be like a trash video of them just like, oh, looking back, like, on a, oh, I'm walking up an escalator, just showing my ass to, you know, uh, to um, the big up their uh, OnlyFans. Yeah. So uh, yesterday, I'm like, wait, what if we come out with a business? Because how do we get these girls to have better skits in order to even be able to repost them? What if these girls paid comedians to work with them? Right there, I think, stuff. I think, so that's the next business I'm trying to think of how to do it. Basically, I want to start all these girls that have no brain, no personality, but you want to get, you know, big doing skits, but you can't because you, you don't have ideas. Yeah. Pay people. These co comedians don't even charge a lot. Like some of the best charge 500 for a collab. It's worth it. Y'all bitches is making thousands of dollars a day. Pay one of these comedians to work with you. Even pay a rapper to collab with you on whatever. Pret yeah. He could pretend he's dating you for a day. Pay him 10,000 for promo. It'll be worth it. Like these bitches is slow. Yeah. And yeah. in this industry, especially doing skits, you'd be surprised. A lot of bitches don't make it. I was just about to ask, like, how many girls are actually really making money from that shit? Because, like, I, I see am. girls say, uh, I'm making 10 bands a day of um, only. F yeah. Yeah, you're making money. And, and I know you and, and other girls that I that I know around at Chromas, they're making money. But I've heard there's a lot of girls who don't make shit from that. Chroma's definitely making money. I mean, a lot of bitches don't make shit, but they're claim they're claiming because like fake it till you make it. Yeah. Kind of like act like you're up there and then people are gonna because it's like, bro, y'all are exactly the same. It's the same bitches, same doctor, same everything, bro. Like y'all y'all yeah. like, not even interesting to look at anymore. Like and then you have to have the work ethic too. Like, yeah. yeah. As well. Like, yeah. Even in It's skits, a social media site. You gotta post, you gotta be putting up new content. Like it's not like you yeah. can just sit there with a it is probably fans. even growing up i always used to try to like and playing sports i always played with the guys because i was always too advanced for the women mm. i think when it comes to business it's the same shit i end up playing with the guys pause no homo more than anything than the women even because a lot of times it's like working with men is just easier women they're late they don't want to work or a lot of times you even do a video with a bitch and you're about to put it up make them some money and they're oh i don't like how i look can we reshoot it it's like bitch if you don't like how you look that's not my fault that's not my problem you should have never came yeah why even call them like yeah bitches bitches want to flake even the other day a bitch came two hours late for a show i had her booked for world star um, and she came two hours late and then acted like she was forced to be there. I'm like, bitch, you could go the f home. We don't need you. Like, you're not the only bad bitch. Miami, we, I got every bad bitch there is. Like, I could mm. just call someone else. So, and got then now, Miami um, unlock. 
Yeah. And now, um, oh, so yeah, with skits, I think a lot of bitches don't make it because they don't have ideas. Like when you come to do a skit, let's say with a guy, a comedian, I think with men, a lot of them, they started doing comedy to try to f- and women started doing skits to try to get attention. Mm. So you'll come to a skit with, let's say, a comedian. I'm not going to say a name. Or let's say a Paige Kennedy, right? And someone like that will be like, well, what are we doing after? And it's like, uh, nothing. It's like, oh, well, then we don't got to do the skit. Someone like that, you know what I mean? Like a loser. Oh. He's going to try to get you to f- or he's not even going to want to do his, like, bro, who the f- was, you get 30,000 views per skit. Like, shut up. Hold on. Is that an example? Or a That's a thing? great example. It's natural. Yeah. Yeah. We have come up with skits that not we even. We don't even do skits. We just people record us just doing regular shit. Yeah. Okay. I want to ask you something just about some of your no jumper stuff. Got it. I knew that was coming. (laughs) (laughs) Shout out no jumper. Yeah, you've been popping up more often. Like every month I'm coming. Shout out Adam. Shout out Josh No Jumper, actually. Shout out Josh. Yeah, big salute to Josh. Josh. Yeah, yeah, My yeah, buddy. yeah. I, I, I'm going to see y'all just now. You ever watch Point and Shoot? Big salute to Steaming Hot Grabba with a variety of different Grabba flavors and dispensers. They got Red Rose Grabba, that Red Herring Grabba, and Peanut Butter. Hit them up on their Instagram page, Steaming Hot Grabba, and use the code We Love Hip Hop and receive a discount on your order. Again, you can find them on Instagram, Steaming Hot Grabba. Now let's get back to the show. Gia. Yo, he's hilarious. <laughs> I've I seen him for the first time when he did a video on me. Yes. Yo, you're so he's, hilarious. He's got you connected to Sharp and Copa Raider. Copa Raider is one of the newer guys that's popped up on there. Yeah. He's a little wild. I will say you he need to get your information a little more clear. Yeah, so so clear it, it up wasn't here. completely accurate. That's yeah. not me and Sharp did not meet on World Star Live. We've been mad before that. We have an interview last May. So we've been mad. Mm -hmm. We met at the interview when I came the first time. I used to come once a year to No Jumper every year since I started, you know, doing this shit. Yeah, yeah. And then after I met him, he kind of pushed me to come more often, Mm -hmm. basically. So, okay. I don't know if you've ever seen this, this, this channel, Point and Shoot. They did a whole narrative on how Sharp is pissed that this Copa Raider guy took damn homie away from him. But if Compa Raider likes her, then I give him my blessing. I don't care what he does. I think that he can do what he wants at this point because they're both single and they're both grown and they can do whatever. And Sharp is single too. And Sharp has been playing the field a little bit too, I've noticed. And there's a video on damn homie's uh, Instagram with homie, with dude, dude Copa Raider eating salad off her feet. <laughs> Yo, that video is wild. Clear it up. What's going on over there? Is Yo. the sharp relationship real? Is the Copa Raider thing thing? Let's get the deets. I wish I'd seen what you, see. <laughs> you didn't Fam, see I'm, it? I'm deep into the internet wormhole right here. I don't. <laughs> Let's see. Um, by the way, if you're ever going to eat feed on camera, it might, you know. It's not show, the show them the video. <laughs> that video is crazy. That shit. Are you going to have it like in the. I'll, I'll, we'll cut it in. You know what I'm saying? Do you blame him? To be honest, it's me. The man, the right Here's now. Here's what I don't understand. He mm. really thought I was going to, like, he really thought he was going to get ass from eating my feet in public. That, like, I don't know. Some men, their mind works in, in mysterious ways, I will say. Um, I will say this. Had I known Copa Rita was going to throw Sharp's name into it, I would have never even chilled with him. He's like, I would have never did a vlog with you because Sharp's actually someone I've quit in real life. Mm -hmm. I would have never did. Like, I don't even know how that whole situation even occurred that way. Okay. Yeah. Now, the other part to my question, because they they showed in that video, you guys are on the date, online dating and all that. Is it online or is it offline? Yo, shout out to Sharp. He has a YouTube channel and he goes live on it every night Mm -hmm. and it's mad entertaining. I would definitely check that out. So, yeah. I like that. (laughs) She should be a politician. (laughs) What do you think I do? (laughs) Okay, let's switch gears. We'll switch gears. Um, And and we'll, I'll move the questions around the room in a second, but I see you also doing the podcast now. Okay. Yeah. First, how did you get a Biz Loke interview? Oh, man. Um, I r- randomly, like when we met, I, I just asked him and he, I had to do the whole paperwork. Mm. You know, it, it took a while to get approved. And yeah, that shit 
We did that shit. And and the real Rick Ross, you got him on the pod and everything like. So what it was is um a couple of months ago. Uh, so I wanted to finish shoot your shot. So I basically mm-hmm. called Sharp and I was like, yo, can you just because the point of shoot your shot, there was never supposed to be a winner from the start. We decided that it was never going to be a winner, that Maya's never really going to find love. That's why we're going to keep the show going forever. Right. After two seasons, I said, bro, I'm, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to have a dating show. Like, can I do a jail show? So they said, yeah, finish it. So I had Char basically win, shoot your shot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that was planned. I called him and he got on the live. We, he won the show. And that's why we had to go on the date and post it and shit. Right. Um, so I was supposed to be doing behind bars for World Star. I started shooting the pilot. So um, I went to LA. I, I did an interview with Rick Ross. I got I got one with Biz Logue. I got one with a couple of people, actually. I was going to come here, do one with Chromaz, do one with Moolah. And then it's about basically you ever been in jail. So I was doing a prison show and then the cameraman, it was just not working with him. It's like he just I don't know, like when I speak, like when I'm doing business with someone, OK, this is the way I would speak. I'd be like, all right, you see that that needs to get changed. Those things that like that can't be there. Mm-hmm. That needs to get done by tomorrow. I need a guarantee it's going to get done. Yeah. I'll pay extra, but I need it done. Can you do it? So that's why. I to- so he would st- get very emotional and get upset he does like i'm like i don't know how you want me to coddle you but then we can't work together that's how i work that's how i work like i that's bro and i'm not the easiest person to work with but i get shit done Mm -hmm. so the uh, show ended up not getting picked up um so but as i'm doing that i randomly threw another idea in there called down in the dms Mm. and that got picked up so we already shot three episodes they're getting edited right now the pilot just got approved finally and yeah, um, and then I'm also producing now for World Star, so I'm uh. in charge of original content. So we're trying to make at least every day have an original show. Um, I try to do a music show. Like it, it took months to really get things like down, and it's I didn't realize how hard it was to do a podcast. To it's be not, honest, it's not easy. Yeah. I could have just had someone produce it, but I wanted to be the producer and the personality. And being behind the scenes is just as hard, if not harder, than being yeah. in front of the camera, actually. No, it's it's a process to even to stay consistent and stuff like that. Like, well, even with you guys, like, how do you guys stay mentally centered? Like, how do you... Weed. Ugh. I smoke a lot of weed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, how do you... Because there's a lot that goes into us, this, all of us just being public figures, whether it's music, content, people getting at you in comments, all different types of things, no, life, life in. Are- like, how do you... I smoke a lot. Um, I got so much work to do. I really don't got time for, you know, like anyone's opinion. It's like a lot of times people say shit in the comments and people always go, how do you handle the comments? I'm like, I get hot. I read them and I fucking laugh at them shit. Mm-hmm. You have to know how to laugh at yourself. I don't. What can you say about me? Like, bro, like oh, you're not. It is funny. I'm not going to lie. Like uh, my comments are funny. But what I've noticed is when I respond to people Mm. right away, they're like, I'm just kidding. I just wanted to get your attention. Mm -hmm. These are fans that are either confused or they just sucking because they're trying to get a response in any type of manner. But in reality, it's like uh, even if it's whether it's people online or people I actually know in real life, it's like, bitch, I'm I'm so busy. You're not doing shit anyway. You're literally sucking. Some of these bitches suck for a living. Literally. So why would I care? Like, I, yeah. I'm actually doing shit. Yeah. And um, people are sheep. Mm-hmm. If you notice, even the other day, No Jumper, Flacco asked people a question. Oh, would you rather take $100 or dinner with Meek Mill? And everyone was like, I'd rather take the 100 Shut the f- up. No, you would not. If Meek Mill came around right now, you would literally be like, oh, bro, let me get a photo. Yeah. Shut the f- up. People are sheep. They're just whatever society is saying they agree with. The minute Meek Mill's going to be good again and they're going to find out he really isn't gay, which I think he's not gay. He just did some homo shit for the industry. Like, you know, some people are just gay for pay or gay for clout. I think he's more gay for clout. He, I don't think which he's is, gay. Which is gay. Oh, <laughs> I'm saying they're going to come around and be like, we love Meek Mill. Yeah, Everyone's going to like you, but you're going to f***ing respect me. Yeah. You're going to respect my worth ethic. One thing about the industry is even if you don't like me, you got you can't say I didn't work for this shit. Yeah. You can't say anyone handed it to me. You can't say that I was someone's girlfriend. 
like now people could say connect me to this person that person but i came up as me like mm -hmm. even like i when i came on sharp shit and we talked about the haha -ha davis situation first of all yeah he sent me his dick pic and then his bitch was dumb enough to go in the comments and respond for him that man don't even defend you your baby mom's number two that man has never claimed you as his girlfriend he claimed you as a second child of mother of his children right mm. and the bitch was talking about oh she's <coughs> irrelevant that's why she brought that up first of all What's Haha -ha Davis's girl's name? You tell me. I have no idea. Since I'm so irrelevant, what's her name? You tell me. Mola, what's her name? Haha -ha Davis's girlfriend. Okay, what's her Instagram <laughs> name? I get it. We're not going to know people's names. You I, know, I, everybody I didn't, I didn't knows even know he had a girlfriend. Maya. You didn't even know he had a girlfriend. Well, no. the bitch that's in every video not talking, just showing her ass. So my thing is, how are you going to say I'm irrelevant when you're literally Haha -ha Davis's girlfriend? No one even knows your name and you have an OnlyFans? Bitch, one thing, that's disgusting because it's nothing wrong with having an OnlyFans, but you're a mother. Like, no wonder he don't take you seriously, bitch. Jeez. And don't be commenting shit. Like I said, I mean, you I have, don't even know this girl, but I'm riding. My <laughs> DM is open. So if you want to do I something. sound effects ready. Keep going. If my, my DM is open, if you want to do something. You could fucking contact me and I'll fly you out to Miami. But I mean, like, I mean, damn, you're too, you're too fast over there. I'm, bro, that bitch. Out. You're too guy out, man. You're, you're a guy. You ever have to There's put pause on a bitch? There's not a chance for that. Like, pause. Huh? You ever have to put pause on a bitch? A few times. Yeah. I just don't like fighting over men. A bitch mm. gotta hit me first, cause I'm like, bro, we really fighting over him? Like, ugh. no, no, but not just like in just general, some regular like I whatever. Feel like I like fight I'm talking more about men. content creator chick. Oh, um, or a content creator like yeah, bitches chicks. is afraid of me. You know, I'm really surprised. No one really like even people that don't like me. They're scared of me. Like I have one bitch that came to my house to work. She came with someone, and I literally spazzed on the bitch and told her to leave, and she just left. I'm like, damn, the bitch. Shit. I'm sorry, but come on, like <laughs> the, the the industry, y'all are some p's. Like I don't care whether we're collabing or it's real life, bitch. This this is real life. If a bitch was to throw me out in front of a bunch of creators, I'm fighting. Mm. That bitch ended up quitting doing skits, moved to Florida, and wow. lives a quiet life now. A few bit, I, I actually destroyed a few people. Cause my thing is, when people come at me, I'll figure out a way to destroy you, and you won't even realize it. This is chess, not checkers. Some mm. of these people can't even play Connect Four. The f you playing with a chess master here i'm russian bro like i i was raised by a man you think you're really gonna outsmart me like i've dated three pimps you think you're gonna outsmart me come on yeah yeah Can't outsmart her. It's crazy. Jeez. how you dated three pimps and never paid not one they all paid me because i give good advice mm, hold on gunshot in there you can't hear them but they're in there <laughs> <laughs> I could hear him. I hear him in my head. <laughs> you hear the war sounds on your in your head. Holy. Yeah. Listen, let's let's wrap it up there. I think we got like what, about an hour and fifteen in here. We've just been chopping it up. Like I said, we didn't have to do a, a regular interview format shit. Like I just like to when you when you're in town and when I catch up with Mula, just to chop it up. We're always gonna do this, bro. Yeah. Every time I'm here, you're yeah. gonna be my first call. Well, the second. <laughs> no, I, I, I always appreciate it, man. Um, before we get out of here, just quick salute to the sponsors. Big salute to my sponsors, Diamond Club. Hit them up on their Instagram page, Diamond Club underscore Canada. And hit up Steaming Hot Grabber if you need that grabber. Steaming Hot Grabber on Instagram. We got Damn Homie in the building. Moolah first in the building. Pharaoh. We are off of this. We love hip hop. Hip -hop, hip -hop, hip -hop.